Howdy YouTube, it's been a while, so let's do a core boot installation. In specific, uh, we're going to be doing a Skulls Project uh, core boot installation, but without any, well, hardware flashing tools on AX230. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to be doing this, well, with 1B Rain, which has some other interesting features. If you haven't heard about it, 1v Rain is a jailbreak for Ivy Bridge based ThinkPad models. So in other words, the 30 series. And today we're going to be taking advantage of its ability to install other binaries. But its pre-included binary also has some cool features that are pretty impressive. And even though you don't quite have the same abilities as compiling your own custom core boot ROM, you have a pretty awesome pre-included binary. It is a lot more than just a whitelist BIOS crack. The 1v Rain project allows you to a entirely rewrite the first four megabytes of the ROM, but it also allows you to overclock certain CPUs, control fan curves, and much, much more. It also adds the option to disable the ME. Although, as a side note, I should state that I think it's something more close to a soft disable, and this method definitely isn't as secure as hardware flashing and applying ME cleaner. This is probably due to the exploit's limitation of only addressing the first four megabytes of ROM. So if you have the tools and the time, I would still recommend installing Core Boot the normal way or using a project like Skulls. Still though, I think the project is pretty cool. Also, I should mention that if you have a later OEM BIOS, um, this mod will not work with it. There is a compatible BIOS list on their website, but fortunately there's a program called 1V Prep, which will revert the BIOS revision to a compatible one, which allows you to essentially just install it as normal, and fortunately that software is pretty easy to use. And before we get started, let me just bring up that the website states that the EC firmware is supposedly unaffected. So um, if you do perform an EC mod, and the two main ones for this are essentially the X230 has a battery whitelist that won't let you use the X220 batteries, and it also has, well, I like putting the X220 keyboard on it. So. Essentially, the process can be summarized as using uh, DD on some drive with the 1v Marine image. Boot into UEFI mode with secure boot off. And if you're using a Lenovo BIOS that is not compatible, just downgrade the BIOS with 1v Prep. And you should also uh, make sure to clear any BIOS passwords and settings as well. Okay, so we're starting our 1v Rain installation with, well, a some assembly required X230. Otherwise, it's pretty much stock except for an EC firmware mod. The X230 does not normally support the X220 battery, but uh, the, this probably would be another video. So anyways though, let's get back into reassembly, first with the RAM squat cover, and let's just uh, pretend that I have the clip for the installation of the palm rest. But after that, we can just start cleaning it. Essentially, I just use, well, a magic eraser and a little bit of isopropyl. This process uh, is pretty easy. It works better on the top than the bottom of think pads, but it essentially can get rid of scratches and well, sticker gunk. Okay, so now that we have a ThinkPad, let's move on. Okay, so for this project, we're just gonna assume that the BIOS version is incompatible, even though 2.75 is just fine, but we're gonna be running 1v prep anyways, which is unfortunately Windows 10 based, but the installation isn't actually that complicated. Essentially, you need Docker, and you need to run docker run, and you need a Windows 10 ISO, and one exe file called findstr.exe. So, odd thing though, 
I did actually have to run this twice. The first time I ran it was just to show the, uh, well, 1v uh, rain footage for their pre-encoded binary, and the second time I ran it, well, was for actually installing Core Boot. So let's check if it actually has a prior BIOS version. So um, it was 2.75 earlier, but let's take a look at it now. And apparently it is now 2.60. So it does work fine. 1v prep will actually revert the BIOS. And even if you have 1v rain installed, you can revert it to 2.60 for whatever reason. So let's talk about 1v, well, rain again. And the actual installation is pretty simple, but I figured I'd show off some of the footage and some of the options. But um, since this is going to take a little bit, why don't we uh, talk about, uh, well, actually the build process for this. So um, to get this footage for the video, uh, I essentially had to install it twice, which does lead to some sort of interesting thing. So like, you can actually run 1v prep again to revert back from the stock 1v rain BIOS. This probably won't work with uh, skulls, or, but there are a few cool things about the uh, install rather than that uh, matrix wall over there. Um, essentially, you get, well, a few options, and one of those is downloading a ROM from a website. So in my case, uh, I was a little bit lazy and didn't want to type in the full URL, so I just moved the file to my website. And after typing that in, I was ready to go. But in this install, we're going with the stock BIOS first, which is just option one. But we're going to be doing something a little bit more interesting during our install. So the first thing I did was essentially just, well, tether the two computers together. And uh, if you noticed earlier, there's an option to download a ROM from a URL. So all I did was uh, type in the URL to my website after moving the skull binary to it. And then... I could actually begin to flash a chip. So I picked the uh, Skulls pre-compiled core boot ROM for about two reasons. One, if I did not have a bootable four megabyte ROM, I was not able to replace it. I still need to buy another Pomona 5250. But uh, besides the point, the other reason is it does have a four megabyte BIOS. The other eight megabytes are zeroed out. And for the sake of testing, it seems to work just fine. Um, I think this is a great first step in terms of that. And even if you just want to try it out and see if you could uh, try Skulls or some similar core boot ROM beforehand on your system without actually having to open it up, it would be an awesome tool for that. And if you're not even in a core boot, it's all, you could even overclock your ThinkPad with the modified Lenovo BIOS. So this isn't really a review, but if it was, I'd give it an A+, plus, or at least an A, A+, plus if it uh, could have uh, the ME completely gone. But either way, though, um, I guess uh, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'd like to uh, put a link to the Skulls page in the description. I hope you guys have a good, well, weekend or week. And um, have a good one. Bye. Right. Peace.